Hello friends, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, ALP Talks, Gender and Electrical Aspects. This is your Lakshmi Bhati. Today's topic is 100 electrical interview questions and answers. So just uh, keep watching. It may benefit you. It may give it will give you some good idea. Yeah. So the person uh, who are uh, just a graduate out of the college and who are having one to two, one to two or three years experience, it's uh, very good for them. And for experienced persons also, some general questions will be there. So it may benefit them. For ex experienced persons, the questions may be mostly related to their job profile. So I'm not discussing that much depth about the, their job profiles. Uh, it's our most of the electrical general questions will be there in this. So it's better. I will try to mention uh, in description the in taglines also all the questions summary so uh, you can click on that particular question and uh, discuss it view it if you have any questions or comments please comment in comment section if you have any further thoughts uh, what topics you need in future what you want to see in my channel then please uh, comment in comment section my details also available thanks for supporting keep watching so under electrical interview questions and answers so generally first question will be tell me about yourself generally first question will be tell me about yourself it seems like an easy inter question it's open ended i can't uh, i can talk about uh, whatever i want from the birth canal forward right no it's wrong what the hiring manager really wants is a quick 2 to 3 minutes snapshot of who you are and why you are the best candidate for this position so as you answer this question talk about what you have done to prepare yourself to be the very best candidate for the position use an example or two to back it up then ask if they would like more details if they do keep giving them example after example of uh, your background and experience always point back to an example when you have the opportunity tell me about yourself does not mean tell me everything just tell me what makes you the best and fit for the job requirements so this is the thing so some post will be there i am not uh, going to read those things it's just for uh, building some confidence some self confidence some passion some energy something like that some motivation i can say so just uh, observe those posts also so what is a, a differential amplifier also explain cmrr differential amplifier the amplifier which is used to amplify the voltage difference between two input lines neither of which is uh, grounded is called a differential amplifier this reduces the amount of noise injected into the amplifier because any noise appearing simultaneously on the both the input terminals as the amplifying circuits rejects is being a common mode signal cmrr it can be defined as the ratio of differential voltage gain to common mode voltage gain if a differential amplifier is perfect cmrr would be infinite because in that case common mode voltage gain would be zero move to next question where do you see yourself in 5 years time what the interviewer really wants to wants is to see that you have thought about your future and gauge your ambition they also want to verify that this is not a just a stop gap position although all of your answers should be tailored to the organization and position you have applied for this is especially the case with this question if you are going for an entry level position for example explain how you had like your career to progress example i had like i had like to progress to a senior software engineer or i see myself being a team leader if you are going for a, a more senior position explain how you had be looking to move the company forward have a look at their business strategy or corporate objectives before the interview and explain how you can help in achieving them so in this post itself some related questions will be there i am not discussing those things in uh, while reading so it's better you can just uh, grasp it and you can go through those why the star delta starter is preferred with the uh, induction motor star delta starter is preferred with the uh, induction motor due to the following reasons starting current is reduced 3 to 4 times of the direct current 
due to which voltage drops and hence it causes uh, less losses. Star delta starter is circuit comes in the first uh, during starting of motor which reduces voltage three times. That's why current also reduces up to three times and hence less motor burning is caused. In addition, starting torque is increased and it prevents the damage of motor winding. Next one, what is your greatest weakness? What are your weakness is one of the most popular questions interviewers ask. It is also the most uh, uh, dreaded question of all. Handle it by minimizing your weakness and emphasizing your strengths. Stay away from personal qualities and concentrate on professional trends. I am always working on improving my communication skills to be a more effective presenter. I recently joined Toastmasters which I find very helpful. Something like that you can answer the question. What is your greatest weakness? I mean this is continuation. Tips to answer this question. Show that you are aware of your weakness and what you have done to overcome it. Show that you are self aware and that and that you have the ability to take steps to improve yourself. Don't you dare answer with the glitch, I am a perfectionist answer or any other such answer that the hiring manager can see right, right though. Don't highlight a weakness that is a core competency of the job. For example, if you are a designer of the transform hub, don't say, I don't know about designing. <laughs> know the job description inside and out. Don't, don't dodge this question. State the difference between generator and alternator. Generator and alternator are two devices which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Both have the same principle of electromagnetic induction. The only difference is that their construction. Generator persists stationary magnetic fields and rotating conductor which rolls on the armature with the slip rings and brushes riding against each other. Hence, it converts the induced EMF into DC current for, for external loads. Whereas an alternator has a stationary armature and rotating magnetic field for high voltages, but for low voltage output, rotating armature and stationary magnetic field is used. Next question. What is your greatest strength? This is uh, your time to shine. Just remember the interviewer is looking for work related strength. Mention a number of them such as being a good motivator, problem solver, performing well under pressure, being loyal, having a positive attitude, eager to learn, taking initiative and attention to detail. Whichever you go for, be prepared to give examples that illustrate this particular skill. Why AC systems are preferred over DC systems? Due to following reasons, AC systems are preferred over DC systems. It is easy to maintain and change the voltage of AC electricity for transmission and distribution. Plant cost for AC transmission, circuit breakers, transformers, etc. is much lower than the equivalent DC transmission. From power stations, AC is produced. So it is better to use AC than DC. So instead of converting DC, it's better directly to use AC. When a large fault occurs in a network, it is easier to interrupt in an AC system as the sine wave current will naturally tend to zero at some point, making the current easier to interrupt. Why did you leave your last job? Here you will need to, need to be careful as there are many possible answers you could use. Just remember to never talk negatively about any prior or current employer to a potential employer. No one wants to think that in a few years time you could be saying the same about them. A possible reason could be to say you were looking for better opportunities for you to grow professionally or you were looking for the chance to work abroad. How can you relate power engineering with the electrical engineering? Power engineering design of all power equipments also comes under power engineering. Power engineers may work on the design and maintenance of the power grid that is called on grid systems and they might work on off-grid systems that are not connected to the system. Why should we hide you? This is a differentiation question. What you want to tell them is uh, they had to be crazy not they hide you. Focus on them. You need to only share how you meet almost all criteria they seek and also have two to three additional abilities that they might not even know they need. Yet, 
they need to know you are a candidate who can not only meet their needs now but will also be valuable for where they want to go in the future are they likely to need another skill set as they grow as a company or maybe you have skills that you notice or in another job description they are looking to fill you can help out with those deliverables until they find someone or be a backup to the person they are hired have been down a path already that they are currently starting have lessons learned to offer them is a very strong plus for a job candidate what are the various kind of cables used for transmission cables which are used for transmitting power can be categorized into three forms low tension cables which can transmit voltage up to 1000 volts high tension cables can transmit voltage up to 23000 volts super tension cables can transmit voltage 66 to 132 kv yeah that actually depends case to case you can answer this what is your greatest accomplishment this is somewhat similar to the what is your greatest strength question and can be handled along the same lines you want to pick an accomplishment that shows you have the qualities that the company puts value in and that are desirable for the position you are interviewing for the fact is you may have several accomplishments you could pick from pick one that will have the most impact what is your greatest accomplishment yeah this is continuation talk about an accomplishment that exhibits how you will be a perfect fit for the company and for the position you are interviewing for try and show some genuine passion when you are talking about your accomplishment don't fall into the trap of thinking your accomplishment is too small the fact is relating a small accomplishment that is in line with what the company values can be more powerful than an unrelated accomplishment why back gmf used for a dc motor highlight its importance significance the induced emf developed when the rotating conductors of the armature between the poles of a magnet in a dc motor cut the magnetic flux opposes the current flowing through the conductor when the armature rotates is called back emf its value depends upon the speed of rotation of the armature conductors in starting the value of back emf is zero what can we expect from you in your first 90 days ideally the answer to answer this question this question the answer should come from the employer they should have plans and expectations for you but if you are asked you this uh, general framework yeah. you will work hard to determine how your job creates value you won't just say busy you will stay busy doing the right things you will learn how to serve all your constituents your boss your employees your peers your customers and suppliers and vendors you will focus on doing what you do best you will be hired because you to bring certain skills and you will apply those skills to make things happen you will make a difference with customers with other employees to bring enthusiasm and focus and a sense of commitment and teamwork then just lay just layered in specific specifics that are applicable to you and the job explain the application of storage batteries storage batteries are used for various purposes some of the applications are mentioned below for the operation of protective devices and for emergency lighting at the generating stations and substations for starting ignition and lighting of automobiles aircraft etc for lighting on on steam and diesel railway trains as a supply power source in our telephone exchange laboratories and broadcasting stations for emergency lighting at hospitals banks rural areas where electricity supplies are not possible what are your salary expectations when completing your preparations for the interview always have this question in the back of your mind have a look at the average salary for someone in this industry area and who possesses similar skills to yourself and you should get a basic idea but remember this is the only the first interview you haven't been offered the job there is no need at this stage to be try and begin negotiations giving a broad salary range will usually be enough to move on but be prepared to back it up if you need to just don't be tempted to sell yourself short 
If you are not sure where to start, take a look at uh, our average salary checker. Right answer. A broad but realistic answer. Example, I am looking for a starting salary somewhere between 25,000 euros to 30,000 euros. Wrong answer. I am not sure. How much are you on? It's not good to say. Explain advantages of storage batteries. Few advantages of storage batteries are mentioned below. Most uh, efficient form of storing energy probably. Stored energy is available immediately because there is no lack of time for delivering the stored energy. Reliable source for uh, supply of energy. The energy can be drawn at a fairly constant rate. Do you have any questions? Around 75% of seekers, job seekers will say no. I think that's everything to this question. Terribly response. The question gives you a fantastic opportunity to stand out from the crowd and show your knowledge and passion for the company or organization you are interviewing for. Always have a few questions prepared and have one based around, around something you found during your company research phase. Tips to answer this question. Focus your questions on the company and you can do for them. Ask about something you have discovered in your company research. This will show your passion and knowledge of the company. Do you have any questions? This is continuation. Ask if there is any reason the hiring manager wouldn't hire you. This can be a little daunting to ask but can really pay off. It allows you to address something they may be thinking in their head but haven't brought up. Never say no, I think I am good. Always have questions ready here. Don't focus your questions on yourself and what you can get from them. That is, don't ask questions that you could easily find the answers to. Don't ask about time off and benefits too early in the process. Don't ask how soon you can start applying for other positions in the company. What are the different methods for starting off a synchronous motor? Starting methods. Synchronous motor can be started by the following two methods. By means of auxiliary motor, the rotor of a synchronous motor is rotated by auxiliary motor. The rotor poles are excited due to which the rotor field is locked with the stator revolving field and continue, continuous rotation is obtained by providing damper winding. Here, bar conductors are embedded in the outer periphery of rotor poles and are short circuited with the short circuited rings on both sides. The machine is started as a squirrel cage induction motor first. When it picks up speed, excitation is given to the rotor and rotor starts rotating continuously as the rotor field is locked with the stator revolving field. Are you a team player? Almost everyone says yes to this question, but it is not just a yes or no question. You need to provide behavioral example to back up your answer. A sample answer is, yes, I am very much a team player. In fact, I had opportunities in my work, school and athletics to develop my skills as a team player. For example, on a recent project, emphasize teamwork behavior examples and focus on your openness to diversity of backgrounds. Talk about the strength of the team above the individual and note that this question may be used as a lead into questions around how you handle conflict within a team. So be prepared. Next question. Name the types of motors used in vacuum cleaners, phonographic appliances, vending machines, refrigerators, rolling mills, lathes, power factor improvement, and cranes. Following motors are used vacuum cleaners, universal motors, phonographic appliances, hysteresis motor, vending machines, shaded pole motor. Refrigerators, capacitor split phase motor, rolling mills, cumulative motors, lathes, DC shunt motor, power factor improvement, synchronous motor. What challenges are you looking for in this position? A typical interview question to determine what you are looking for in your next job and whether you would be good fit for the position being hired for is what challenges are you looking for in a position? The best way to answer uh, questions about the challenges you are seeking is to discuss how you would like to be able to effectively utilize your skills and experience if you are hired for the job. You can also mention that you are motivated by challenges, have the ability to effectively meet challenges 
and have the flexibility and skills necessary to handle a challenging job. You can continue by describing specific examples of challenges you have met and goals you have achieved in the past. State Thevenin's Theorem According to Thevenin's Theorem, the current flowing through a load resistance connected across any two terminals of a linear active bilateral network is the ratio of open circuit voltage that is the voltage across the two terminals when uh, RL is removed and the sum of load resistance and the internal resistance of the network it is given by VOC by RI plus RL. What experience do you have in this field? Hopefully if you are applying for this position you have max of related experience and if that is the case you, you should mention at all. But if you are switching careers or trying something a little different your experience may initially not look like it's matching up. That's when you need a little honest creativity to match the experience required with the ones you have. People, people skills are uh, people skills after all. You just need to show how customer service skills can apply to internal management positions and so on. State Norton theorem. The Norton theorem explains the fact that there are two terminals and they are as follows. One is a terminal active network containing voltage sources. Another is the resistance that is viewed from the output terminals. Output terminals are equivalent to the constant source of current and it's allowing giving the parallel resistance. Norton theorem also explains about the constant current that is equal to the current of the short circuit placed across the terminals. The parallel resistance of the network can be viewed from the open circuit terminals when all the voltage and current source are removed and replaced by internal resistance. Why next question? Why do you want to work with us? More likely than not, the interviewer wishes to see how much you know about the company culture and whether you can identify with the organization's values and vision. Every organization has its strong points and these are the ones that you should highlight in your answer. For example, if company emphasizes on integrity with customers, then you mention that you would like to be in such a team because you are yourself believe in integrity. Next question is, state maximum power transfer theorem. The maximum power transfer theorem explains about the load that a resistance will extract from the network. This includes the maximum power from the network and in this case the load resistance is being equal to the resistance of the network and is also allows the resistance to be equal to the resistance of the network. This resistance can be viewed by the output terminals and the energy sources can be removed by leaving the internal resistance behind. Answer samples. Lack of challenges. How many hours I have to commit? I focused on pay and benefits when I look my job. I didn't fully realize how much time is our greatest and only asset. I would definitely consider this if I were looking for another one. Yeah. So next question is, how long would you expect to work for us if hired? Some tips for this question. It is not right to be specific, else you are giving them the impression that you are not going to stay if hired. Specific here are not good. Something like this should work. I had like to be a long time or as long as we both feel I am doing a good job. Sample answers. I, I had like to be a, like to be there a long time. As much as you permit me and believe that I am doing a good job to remain in your company. Next question. What motivates you to do your best on the job? Tips to answer. This is a personal trait that only you can say, but good examples are challenge, achievement, recognition. For any person, motivation is the main factor which should make him work in an efficient manner and that motivation could be done, done by some rewards for doing a good job, some encouragements, etc. Moreover, an employee's good work must be acknowledged by his employer which would definitely boost him to work more harder to get more acknowledgements. Answer samples. I was motivated both by the challenge of finishing the projects on time and by managing the teams that achieved our goals. I want to be successful in my job, both for my own personal satisfaction and for my employer. Next question. What is the most difficult situation you have faced? 
here you should be ready with uh, your real life story the question looks for information on two fronts how do you define the difficulty and how did you handle the situation you should be able to clearly lay down the road map for solving the problem your ability to perform task management and maintain good interaction with your team members and other peers it is advisable to close by highlighting the lesson learned out of the incident next question explain how would be an asset for this organization you should be anxious for this question it gives you a chance to highlight your best points as they relate to the position being discussed give a little advance thought to this uh, relationship even organizations wants to grow better and me also wants to make my career a great success and that if i could join here then i could get chances to explore my ideas for the growth of your reputed organization with my professional knowledge and experience i am having till now the best way to approach this question is to re to restate your strengths and emphasize the different ways they can be applied to the job being discussed next question have you worked with someone you didn't like if so how did you handle it tips to the answer this is a trap question speaking negatively about other people will show you as an unreliable character stay professional and be diplomatic sample answer not really i believe that when disagreements occur the matters can be taken up with the concerned person and be immediately solved next question tell me about the most difficult or complex idea you have had to explain to someone once again the employer is more interested in the tools you use to effectively communicate a complex idea rather than the idea itself points to be in mind when explaining your methodology when communicating complex ideas you keep your message simple and straightforward avoiding technical jargon and over using statistics you don't expect people to have the same background knowledge as you and are careful to introduce your idea in clear and concise terms you find that giving examples using pictures and graphs helps clarify difficult concepts and can be useful as people have different learning styles you always encourage questions and if somebody is having difficulty understanding you are quick to adopt your style next question do you prefer to work independently or on a team answered tips or answered samples you should pay special attention to this question if your potential employer is a one that requires much teamwork such as those working in sales and marketing areas best answer i can work well both individually and in a team i believe your company is recruiting just exact candidates as i have read from the job descriptions there are some duties that require teamwork while others require individual skills to complete therefore i totally believe that i can do the job well next question what kind of person would you refuse to work with there is nothing like not able to work with organizations are made of teams therefore one team member may be not slower than the other members of the team it is the responsibility of the other teammates to help the slow teammate to match up do not be trivial it would be take dissolve disloyalty to the organization violence or law breaking to get you to the object minor objections will label you as a winner why not well i am a person who can work with all kind of people however i feel bit uncomfortable to work with persons of selfish and ingratitude in nature next question tell me about a suggestion you have made have a good one ready be sure and use a suggestion that was accepted and was then considered successful once one related to the type of work applied for is a real plus this is a behavioral question that is exploring your initiative you need to think about a situation when you came up with an improvement or change to an existing system or work process next question describe a typical work week when an interviewer ask you about your previous job he may raise such a question as please describe a typical work week of yours hearing the answer and the interviewer may have an overview about you and your performance at work so it is very useful to look at this question 
beforehand if you have stated some related experience in your CV as to the current job. First thing to remember is you have to prepare the answer before so that there is no non-related activities included in your answer. You may talk about what happened with your behavior or skills at work such as the times when you were late due to some reasons or how well you communicated with other employees in the former company, how much you focused on the work and so on. But don't mention anything technically such as how you process an order, supervise your work if such is not related to your current application job. Do you refer to work independently or team? Yes, I think we covered this question already. Describe a time when your workload was heavy. I remember when I was uh, still working for ABC company, the time when it was planning to take over another company, there was much work to do dealing with the internal workforce, workforce of the acquired company, cultural differences, maintaining the relationship with the clients. That was a quite stressful situation. However, we managed to get over it very successfully. Next question. How long can you commit to work with us? I like new challenges and chance and chance to grow. As long as I keep getting this, I don't think I will need to switch over. I had like to believe that this relationship lasts for many years. However, I haven't set a time limit as such. Do you have any blind post spots? Answer tips. Trick question. If you know about blind spots, there are no longer blind spots. Do not reveal any personal areas of concern here. Let them do their own discovery on your bad points. Do not hand it to them. Don't be too specific of your actual weakness, but instead try to bring out that you are very team oriented. Answer samples. I would say everyone has blind spots. I would too. And that is why I believe in teamwork because when you are at when you are a team, you can point out other people's blind spots and they will do the same for you. Next question. What do you do to improve your knowledge? Your field is very revolutionary. It is extremely important to keep yourself abreast with the new technological developments and this needs you to take some time out of your work schedules so that you can keep uh, sharpening your star. To answer this question, you can tell the recruiter about the forums which you keep visiting, blogs which you keep reading. It will be advantage if you are a member of some local user group. Next question. Have you ever fired anyone? How would you go about firing a person if required? The basic purpose of asking this question is to check your EQ and see if you have the girls to make tough decisions. If you have fired anyone in the past, discuss your experiences and approach. If you have never done so in the past, discuss the approach you would take to make and implement such a decision. Keep the focus of your answer on the fact that you would try to do your best to ensure that your team performs to its best. But if a particular member is not able to perform even after you talking, taking all the steps to help him, you would make a tough decision to ensure that the project doesn't suffer. Next question. How do you rate your communication skills? Again, your job is about dealing with people within and out of the company. So it is important to have good communication skills. By good communication skills, we mean ability to understand and explain in a common language. So if you believe that your communication skills are weaker, you need to work on them. Anything less than average or good is not acceptable here. Next question. What irritates you about co-workers? The purpose of this question is to see how well you can fit into a team. Basically, you should not have a problem with the person, although you can have a problem with the style of working. So to answer this question, you can simply say, I understand that it is about teamwork, so we can't afford to problems with co-workers. But if someone is not serious about their work or does a low quality work affecting the whole project, I definitely do not like it. Next question. What are the most important things for you as a manager? The two things which should be most important for a manager to succeed in his role are his team should be happy and performing. The project he is working on with his team is successfully finished with the minimum problems. Next question. 
For how long do you expect to stay with our organization? You, you should ensure that you give an uh, impression that you will pay back more than what to take from the company. You can say, I will stay here as far as uh, I see an opportunity for growth as I am looking for a stability in workplace. If they stress on number of years, say 3 to 4 years and more, if I can explore new challenges or growth opportunities. Next question. Tell us something about your hobby. Answer it with, with honesty as they can go deeper into this discussion. You can include browsing internet, blogging, listening to music, chatting with friends, reading newspapers, reading books, shopping, watching movies, something like that you can tell. What is more important to you, money or success? This is a tricky question as money and success both are important and you can't overweigh the importance of one over the other. Personally, you might prefer money over success or success over money, but it is better to be neutral when answering this question in an interview. You can say that money and success both are important for you, but if you have to choose, you would choose success. The reason being, if one is successful, money often successful money often follows and you need not focus on money over success next question if you had enough money to retire right now would you answer as if you was but since you need to work this is the type of work you prefer do not say yes if you do not mean it next question what are your aspirations beyond this job Again, don't fall into the trap of specifying job titles. Stick to a natural progression you see as a plausible. How should this grow for the good of organization? Then turn your attention once again to the job at hand. If you seem too interested in what lies beyond this job, the interviewer will fear that you don't stick around for long. Sam Sample answered, Beyond this job, as a marketing assistant, I see myself moving up through marketing analysis into brand management and eventually running a category. I am aware that there are several skills I need to develop in the interval and I believe with your continuing education program and my own motivation for self-improvement, I will have those skills when the opportunity arises for greater responsibility. That's why I am determined to learn from ground up starting as a marketing assistant. Next question. Tell me about a special contribution you have made to your employer. Before an employer makes this a decision to hire you, they will need to know how you have performed in the past and any other special contributions that you can bring to the company. I am in my last job, I ran the fundraiser campaign for the three consecutive years. I believe it was an important cause and I knew it was difficult for the company to find volunteers. Advice: Don't give long boring answers, instead focus your answers on the actions you took and positive results that you obtained. Next question. Tell me about a time when you failed. It is certainly that everyone fails sometimes, especially at work. For example, fail to comply with the regulations, fail to meet the deadline, fail to persuade others, fail to meet the goals. What matters more is what you learn from such failures and the interviewer is planning to investigate that. There are various reasons to failure, objective or subjective, a fraud, a wrong action, an omission or lack of capacity. You don't need to be too cautious about this as if you learn from your failure then there is nothing to worry about. In answering this question, first state a situation when you fail to do something. It is better if the reason is not your subjective intention. Then state how you realized that and deal with that. And finally, how you learned from that. Next question. If you are allowed to change one, one thing about your last job, what would it be? I have been working at a senior level since last many years. These roles have always needed me to make real-time decisions. Sometimes the facts, figures and other information in real time cases are not complete and still we have to make a decision. In such cases, there exists a probability of making inaccurate decisions. Knowing this, I usually run down my whole decision to see the outcome. It makes sure that I don't repeat a mistake ever again in future. 
while carrying out out such exercise i realized that the product the prom promotion strategy that i recommended would have been different if i had the complete data and figures but there was no way to get them in real time next question have there been instances when your decision was challenged by your colleague or manager yes there have been many such instances i like people who challenge my decisions rather than following me blindly this gives me ensure that i am surrounded by thinking brains rather than just a set of dumb followers when someone challenges your decisions you are bound to rethink over it and the chances of reaching the best option are big brighter so the top 12 job tips for electrical interview tip 1 do your homework you will likely to be asked different questions during the interview preparing the list of likely questions in advance will help you easily transition from question to question you will likely to be asked difficult questions during the interview preparing the list of likely questions in advance will help you easily transition from question to question spend time researching the company look at its site to understand its mission statement product offerings and management team a few hours spent researching before your interview can impress the hiring manager greatly read the company annual report often posted on the site review the employees linkedin profiles and search the company on google news to see if they have been mentioned in the media lately tip 2 first impressions when meeting someone for the first time we instantaneously make our minds about various aspects of their personality prepare and plan that first impression long before you walk in the door continue that excellent impression in the days following and that job could be yours therefore never arrive late your positive body language and turn on your uh, charm right from the start switch off your mobile before you step into the room look uh, look fabulous dress sharp make sure you look your best start the interview with uh, a handshake give a nice firm press and then sum up and down moment determine to establish a rapport with the interviewer right from the start always let the interviewer finish speaking before giving your response express yourself fluently with clarity and precision tip 3 the hidden job market many of us don't recognize that the hidden job market is a huge one and accounts for two third of total job demands from the enterprises this means that if you know how to exploit a hidden job market you can increase your chances of getting the job up to 300% in this section the author shares his experience and useful tips to exploit hidden job market here are some sources to get penetrating into a hidden job market friends family ex coworkers referral hr communities field communities social networks such as facebook twitter last recruitment ads from recruiters hr emails of potential recruiters tip 4 overcome job interview nervous job interview nervous is one of the first reasons why you fail in job interviews tip 4 do it yourself interviewing practice there are number of ways to prepare for an interview at home without the help of a professional career counsel or coach or free basic service you can practice interview all by yourself or recruit fr- friends and family to assist you tip 6 tailor your story to the job applying your story to a specific employer or job is the next step lining up to the stories that apply to the opportunity at a hand is critical put yourself in the interviewer's shoes and pose the questions you would ask which stories are relevant to this job interview think about personal stories that show how you handled change made choices under pressure or learned lessons from mistakes and failures you should also think about stories you can tell in the interview that several your skill set learning and appreciating your story is a prerequisite to any interview process don't rely on your ability to think on your feet anticipate the questions and have answers at the ready in the end this is about making a great and memorable impression that demonstrates competency and ability dress for uh, success plan out a ward- wardrobe that fits the organization and its culture striving for the most professional appearance 
you can accomplish remember that it's always better to overdress it than under and to wear clothing that fits and is clean and pressed keep accessories and jewelry to a minimum try not to smoke or eat right before the interview and if possible brush your teeth or use mouthwash next arrive on time for the interview and prepare for success there is no excuse for ever arriving late for an interview other than some sort of disaster strive to arrive about 15 minutes before your scheduled interview to complete additional paperwork and allow yourself time to get settled arriving a bit early is also a chance to observe the dynamics of the workplace the day before the interview pack up extra copies of your resume or cv on reference list if you have a portfolio or samples of your work bring those along too finally remember to pack several pens and pa a pad of paper to jot notes finally as you get to the office shut off your cell phone and if you were uh, chewing gum get rid of it next tip focus more on what you can do for the company rather than what they can do for you at the beginning of the job interview process someone has to assume that roles of the seller and someone has to be buyer you are the seller at this early stage of the process as the interview progresses you will eventually be asked do you have any questions for us it is a bad idea to say no i can't thinking of anything it is also a bad idea to have a grocery list of interview questions a mile long appropriate job interview questions to ask your interviewers how would you describe a typical day in this position in my first 90 days on the job what my first priority what is one of the most difficult challenges facing your department in this a new position or am i replacing someone what is the company's strategy for generating new business what is your management style like so next one bring examples of your work use the power of a printed word to your advantage as an executive recruiter i can't tell you the number of times i have been called by hiring manager after an interview and told how impressed they were with one of my candidates who bought examples of their work most job seekers fail to do this in preparing for a job interview this one job interview tip alone will set you apart from the other candidates igea some job seekers bring a copy of their most recent written evaluation to the interview obviously you should only do this if your evaluation is outstanding the power of the printed word applies here as well if you share your strengths with your interviewers it's a duly noted if one of your bosses said those same things about you it's gospel another great example of your work is any chart or graph that illustrates specifically how you saved the company time or money or how you made the company money so next question ask questions do not leave the interview without ensuring that you know all that you want to know about the position once the interview is over you have a chance to have important questions answered has ended asking questions also can show that you are interested in the job be specific with your questions ask about the company and the industry avoid asking personal questions of the interviewer and avoid asking questions pertaining to politics religions and the like next tip follow up and send a thank you note following up after an interview call can help you with a uh, make a lasting impression and set you apart from the crowd philip farina cpp a security career expert at mantra security management recruiter says send both an email as well as a hard copy thank you note expressing excitement qualifications and further interest in the position invite the hiring manager to contact you for an additional information this is also an excellent time to send a strategy follow up in the letter of interest other job interview materials so you can find other job interview materials in this list there is a some best tip 440 behavior interview question you can go through those things i am not uh, reading those other job interview materials yes yeah find fields and job titles related job titles electrician electrical administrator electrical advisor electrical engineer electrical designer so there are so many electrical things are there here you can just go through those these are the keywords i can say the above interview questions can be used for fields such as accounting administrative building business fundraising furniture gallery 
grants, mortgage, music. There are so many things of fields are there. So you can uh, just go through this. Yeah, this is about guys uh, with this very big interview, hundred questions. So uh, it may be lengthy. I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope uh, it given uh, some good understanding to you. Yeah, if you have any questions or answers, if you need any further uh, improvements or if you have any thoughts on this uh, interview question, you can always appro approach me. My contact details are available in the video description. You can always message me for any sort of doubts or anything. Thank you guys. Thanks for supporting. Keep, uh, keep watching my all previous videos also. Please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future updates. Thank you. We will meet in next, next week.